Hello and welcome to the channel. If you haven't done so already, make sure to hit that like button and make sure to also hit that notification. Anyway, without wasting any more of your lovely time, let's go ahead and talk about the 2023 Highlander gets an upgrade. Not sure I'm digging the way that grill design looks. It looks very odd. But anyways, let's go ahead and cover the article. Let's do this. All right, so here we are. Um, 2023 Highlander goes turbo, packs 265 horsepower and new tech. Um, not a fan of turbos on big cars like this, um, but we will see what happens in the long term. Um, we don't know. Um, but we do know what Toyota stands for. It stands for reliability and um, quality. You know, that's my interpretation of Toyota. But they've been, they, you know, they've had their issues. Just like any, you know, car company is having their issues in this rough time. But I think this is the wrong move for them to transition over to turbocharge. Um, even though it gives them a little bit more gain in power. But giving you a smaller displacement in your engine. Um, the biggest change occurs under the hood as the 3.5 liter V6 engine has been replaced by a new turbocharged 2.4 liter uh, four cylinder. It produces 265 um, horsepower and 309. Oh, damn, that's a significant amount of torque, which is less loss of 30 horsepower and at 30. Yeah, I'm sorry but a gain of 46 torque. So it does give you a little bit more torque, torquey, more torquey. That sounds like a mixed bag and the situation is further complicated by a combined fuel economy rating that is expected to remain at 24 MPG. Then what, what? Huh? I thought if you go in a smaller displacement and you add the turbocharge, that should increase your fuel economy significant amount at least a little bit but it's going to be the same 24 miles per gallon then then why change it all just leave the old v6 it's reliable we know that is bulletproof it's been proven ah <sighs> that is some confusing shit this is somewhat surprising but toyota said the four cylinder is more environmental friendly oh here you go oh, okay as it offers more than 50% reduction in nitrogen oxide or something like that, NOx and NMOG emissions, as well as improvement to CO2 emissions compared to the outgoing V6 engine. Okay. But I don't know why they couldn't tune it to where it gave a little bit better gas mileage since you're going, since technically you're losing weight, right? You're getting a smaller engine. Then again, you're adding the turbo. I don't know. Maybe it's just a wash. Of course, environmentally conscious, conscious consumers will likely opt for a familiar Highlander hybrid. It features a 2.5 liter four cylinder engine and two electric motors, which enabled the crossover to have a combined output of 243 horsepower and an estimated fuel economy ratings of 36 miles per gallon combined. Damn, that's some good <laughs> MPG. <laughs> Moving to the cabin, limited and platinum trims now come equipped with 12.3 inch digital instrument cluster that replaces the previous analog gauge and a seven inch display. Toyota didn't say much about it, but the digital instrument uh, cluster offers some degree of personalization as there will be four different display modes known as casual, smart, tough, and sporty. Well, when you buy those kind of vehicles or at least a um, eight seat um, family SUVs, you don't, it's not about the power. It's all about the comfort and the spacious, like how comfortable can people be on that third row seat? That is what is important to people like me like if i was gonna buy one of those i want to see if i can myself i'm six foot see if i can fit back there in the third row and if i'm if i can fit then that's all that matters how much space and how much stuff can you carry is when you're buying that kind of a big car for not the sporty and all this all, all this nonsense man all that stuff doesn't matter 
if you want a sport car, go buy a sports car. When you're buying an SUV, you're thinking about, you know, the family and comfort and space, just things that when you're traveling or when you're going somewhere and you need to fit in as much storage as you can, you know, how big, how you know, the bigger wheelbase, the more, you know, the bigger the car, obviously, you know, the more space and more stuff you can fit in, which is, you know, that's why you get the, those kind of cars for if you want a sports car, get a sports car. If you want something faster, you can find something faster. And reasonable price. Higher end trims also benefit from 12.3 inch infotainment system, and which will also be available as an option on mid-level XLE XSC that comes standard with an 8 inch display. Speaking of screens, the entry level Highlander L and LE trade their tiny 4.2 inch multi information display for a larger seven inch setup oh Ooh. getting back to the infotainment system all 2023 highlanders are equipped with toyota audio multimedia system that de debuted on the 2022 tundra it offers cloud-based navigations over there updates and intelligent assistant that responds to hey toyota wake up wake word the infotainment system also has wireless apple carplay android auto compat compatibility as well as integrated Apple Music, Amazon Music Streaming with available Wi-Fi Connect subscription. So far, man, that's a that's a lot of upgrades. I'm just not used to the new Turbo. I mean, I know you guys care. I know Toyota cares about the environment and all, but there's really no difference in fuel efficiency. And if you care about that, you know, you might as well just get last year's model because it's been proven to be very reliable. Save some money that way if you can. If you can get it. Oh, and yeah. And a new digital display. That looks actually pretty sweet. Casual, smart. I don't know what smart is. Tough. I don't know what tough is. Sporty. I know what sporty is. What's the definition of tough? I need to do more research on that. What is tough? I do understand the other ones like the comfort, sporty, and all that. But so far, man, the 2022 or 2023 Highlander coin turbo, baby. Less power, same MPG. Let me know in the comments your thoughts. As always, make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And um, thank you for your time. Have a good one.